Earlier this week, parliamentarians started debate on the miscellaneous amendment bill. The bill seeks to amend several rules, including removal of references to the mandatory death penalty as prescribed by the penal code. It provides for laws to restrict the death penalty to the most serious crimes by converting the maximum penalties prescribed in the laws into imprisonment for life. It also seeks to remove the restrictions on mitigation in the case of convictions that carry out death penalty as well as properly defining life imprisonment or imprisonment for life. Also, the bill seeks, among others, to implement the decision of the Supreme Court in the case of Susan Chigula matter. In that ruling, the court refused to outlaw the death penalty but acknowledged the pain and suffering endured by the condemned, but who took long to be executed. Now, according to the executive director of Foundation of Human Rights Initiative, Dr. Livingston Sewanyana, the debate on the bill that was presented in Parliament on Wednesday was misguided. But apparently, the nature of the debate uh, you know, oscillated between abolition of the death penalty and retention of the death penalty, which exactly was not the purpose. The essence of the bill was basically to effect those three uh, major, major aspirations. So they may instead say, well, uh, we cannot uh, abolish the death penalty because provided for by the Constitution, which, is not, which was not the gist of the bill. Sonyana says the bill may not achieve its intended aim if the lawmakers don't understand the entire bill. My call to members of parliament is to redirect the debate to the purpose of the bill and ensure that they debate the bill according to the, 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 the requirements of the bill. The bill is very clear in what it seeks to achieve. But Busiro East MP Medel Tsegona, who is behind the private member's bill, admits that some lawmakers have not understood the bill. But he says time is on their side before the bill is passed into law. It's apparent that yes, some members had not properly um, understood it, and, and therefore they needed to reread it, which the Speaker granted. Secondly, uh, even those that understood it still had the right to express themselves that yes, even as we debate, nobody should think about bringing a, a, a bill. To, to remove death penalty in its entirety. Segona says the death penalty is not a fashionable trend internationally, but it must be maintained for specific offences. For heinous offences, murder, aggravated robbery, uh, surely we, 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 we are not about to, to remove death penalty. We are not even talking about it today. President Seven has always supported the death penalty, saying this is the only way criminals can be effectively punished. Uh, yes, some people want to abolish the death, death penalty. I'm not part of those. This is a movement which started in Europe. You know, the Europeans have all sorts of confusion. Museven last signed a death warrant in 1999 to execute 28 convicts, while execution under military law was last carried out in 2002. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.